Well, hello Taurus. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. Uh, Taurus, we're going to go ahead and get started with your reading. This is going to be your general reading. We're going to use a few oracles and a tarot. Let's get started. Let's see, make sure this is adjusted. This is for Taurus. Taurus. This is for Taurus. Okay. You guys have keep a uh, secret keeper and the gem. Hmm. Ah, I didn't even read the cards and I thought it. I literally thought this. A lot of you are side chicks, side dudes. A lot of you are working for a company and they are not paying you enough. A lot of you are selling yourself short. You are the hidden gem. You are what a lot of people are looking for with your talents and your abilities, with your heart as far as love, but no one can see you. Some of you have even kept yourself hidden, locked away because you've been waiting for one particular person who's not going to give you what you desire, not at this moment. So you're only a secret or you're not important enough, important enough for them to scream your name from the mountaintops. Work through your beliefs about how you feel in your own mind. That's what you need to do. It says, get uncomfortable and do yourself justice. It will do some justice for you. Okay. Now, you guys did have the wisdom or the, the sage that came out. It says you have the ability to think through this, to think through most things that you're experiencing, right? Secrets are being kept hidden from you. Move in silence and observe your surroundings at this time. Uh, you are a well-kept secret, but I also feel like there's just people who are not being honest with you, which is, which is the reason why the universe is saying, hey, you need to open up your eyes. I, I feel like there is sabotory energy here. People trying to do things to sabotage you and to prevent you from your real success. But there's, you, you use common sense. That's the reason why I like you here, uh, Taurus. Um, because you guys are very smart. You're very wise, very knowledgeable. And, but I feel like there's some, there's something that you, you don't want to see about yourself. There is something you're going to discover about yourself here. It's like your conscious is being illuminated. It's like you're being illuminated. That's what the sage card is basically saying. The sage card is saying that you're going to start acting out or acting based on wisdom. Because right now, that's it looks like based on what I'm seeing, that's not what you guys have been doing. Let's see if I can get one more. This is for Taurus. Selling yourself short. Ooh. Shame on you, Taurus. Shame on you for selling yourself short. The slow mover. Ah, that's right. Ah, I had this person pegged, pegged, honey. Oh, let me make sure this is straight. Oh, yeah. Okay. Especially in love. This is not a love reading, but in love... This is why you were selling yourself short. Some of you guys were just sitting there waiting for somebody who don't know themselves, don't know the, the world, very naive, scared as hell about commitments, not practical in any kind of way. You need to, and you're not even expressing yourself the way you really need to express yourself. You're holding back, right? You're holding back who you are. 
there's some new opportunities with love and jobs. Something that you're creating, something that you're cre crafting yourself. You're building something. I see a lot of you working either. I, I mean, I, it's like a handsy thing where you may use your fingers to type, but also use your hands to create. Use to create music, to create poetry, to, to create um, just any, anything like a play, uh, something like that. That's what I'm seeing. A, a lot of craft here. Like artist, like an artist. That's what I see. Let's go ahead, let's keep going. Now we're gonna go ahead and get your numerology. This is gonna be for Taurus. Let's see what's coming out here for Taurus. You guys had root number six, harmony, community, and healing. Oh yeah, you need to heal. You had healing again at the bottom of the deck. Wow. Number six is work. Number six is also dealing with health, healing with your health. You are characterized by diligence and honesty and self-denial. Wow. You have definitely been selling yourself short in denial wait waiting for something that may not ever happen because you had higher expectations for someone that you know they didn't even have for themselves you are so devoted to something especially with for a lot of you it's saying that this is where you're going to go as far as work and career being very devoted to what you do being committed you know, sticking with it. You're like that with love for a lot of you. I also say that this is also talk about your devotion to God. Do you rely on God? Do you believe in God? Especially if you've been through a lot, you've been questioning a lot of things here. Hmm. Okay. That came out. I'm just gonna take it. That was weird how that fell. So the what the fact that it fell out that weirdly, I'm taking it. There's a change in your house, your home. Okay, there it is again. Wisdom, truth, and knowledge. I think this came out for you guys kind of like that yesterday, didn't it? Didn't it come out dealing with spirituality for you guys? Here, the next card is life path number eight, the power within you, learning to exert control and knowing when to let go. This is talking about having control, which is authority, having control over your life and no one is pulling any strings. No one is in your head. No one is manipulating you, Taurus. You have full control of your destiny. And you hear the word success all the time. So what does that mean? Success in relationships, success with how you feel about yourself, yourself, success with overcoming your demons. And also being able to obtain material things, tangible things, you know, things that you can see that you have worked hard for and accomplished. That's what I'm saying here. That's the power. All that power is, is within you. Now, eight is change, changes, right? And then right after it, you had house number four, which is cancer dealing with the moon. Home and family is changing. Now, you're asking yourself, is something as practical? Maybe your house is too small. Maybe there's children, you know, being born. Maybe you don't like where you live. Maybe it's too far away from your job. It's like, does this work? It says this fourth house represents the home environment. How is it? Is it nurturing? Do you feel comfortable? Okay. Family life. Um, the father. And it says, and perhaps the same sex parent, which is, you know, it talks about uh, the relationship that you have with a parent here. 
someone that you would consider to be a parent that you may have problems with, okay? Or that you want, you're, you could be taken care of. There is definitely change in your home. Let's go ahead, let's get your tarot here. This is for Taurus. Five of Swords. You see why harmony is needed because there's been a lot of conflict with work and career and in your home. Arguments with family members, arguments with those that you love. I don't know. I feel like there could be neighbors too that could be causing problems for some of you. There are some regrets that someone is having that I see too. Eight of Pentacles, being committed to your work and career, being committed to yourself, possibly working on a relationship. Someone wants to work on a relationship. Someone wants to work something out with you. Someone is having a hard time with letting you go or you're having a hard time with letting someone go. And this is going to be a really good time for you to work on yourself if you cannot work it out. You're making connections with people here with that Eight of Pentacles. And remember when I said creative projects or creating something, you really are. And I talked about the hands too. You're going to be sharing your vision, your goals with the world. It's something major that you're creating here. Too many, please, one at a time. There's someone you haven't spoken to in a long, long time. It could be a friend. I don't want to say it's a lover. It could be a lover. But there's someone you haven't talked and you haven't talked to in a while who's coming back up in here. And maybe it's just to say hello, or maybe they have a idea about a business. Oh my God, you guys have the Ace of Pentacles. There's going to be a huge change in your working career. I see big money winning in court if you guys are in a legal battle. You guys are going to get rewarded for something. You could be inheriting something here. You guys got money coming in in a lot of different places, actually. There's an opportunity of a lifetime happening in your reading, and some of you guys are going to be shocked and all. Common sense is what you're using now in order to move forward. Oh my God, this looks so good. You guys are moving towards a soul tribe, soul mate, soul family. And again, some of you are going to find out that you're pregnant or that some, you know, someone you're with, there's a child or children being born or will be born. I do see the change in a home could be um, someone leaving, someone leaving. Or you have to move on from someone. You are grieving somebody's departure here. Or the fact that they're not in your life anymore. But there's a lot of happiness here with the Nine of Cups. A lot of wish fulfillments coming in here for you. A lot, a lot that's going to benefit you according to this card, these cards here, Taurus. This is just a little bit, just a little bit of what I see here for you guys. Well, anyway, thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. And again, if you guys are new, please like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. And I'll see you guys later. Love you guys. Bye.